Donald Trump wants to hire radical right-wing activist Laura Loomer to his 2024 campaign staff, and Loomer is such a nutty person that even radical, repugnant Marjorie Taylor Greene is trying to get in the way of her hiring. Trump has told aides that he wants to hire Loomer. This is coming to us from a report from the New York Times through four anonymous sources. The Times says that Donald Trump met with Ms. Loomer recently and directed advisors to give her a role in support of his candidacy. Loomer was part of the peanut gallery that was at Trump's post-arrest speech in Mar-a-Lago last week. Of course, the Trump campaign staff is not happy with the idea of hiring Loomer, and that prompted her to send out the message saying, quote, The president knows I have always been a Trump loyalist and that I'm committed to helping him win re-election in 2024. He likes me very much, and it's a shame that he's surrounded by some people that run to a publication that is notorious for attacking him in order to try to cut me at the knees instead of being loyal to President Trump and respecting their confidentiality agreements. She also said, I know a lot of people don't like me, and that's their problem, not mine. I have proven my loyalty to President Trump countless times over, and even if other people try to malign me and undermine President Trump's wishes, I will continue to be a ride-or-die Trump supporter. Trump deserves loyalty, and he deserves to have loyal people working for him who do not leak to the press. To give you a picture as to who Laura Loomer is, she's mainly known for her far-right and anti-Muslim activism in November 2018, she was banned from Twitter for violating the platform's rules against hate speech. Uh, she had previously made controversial comments about Muslims, including calling for a non-Islamic Uber, those were her words, non-Islamic Uber, and accusing Muslims of supporting rape. Uh, Uber and Lyft decided to ban her um, from using the services over these comments. In 2017, she appeared on a white supremacist podcast. Uh, Loomer claims that Jewish privilege exists in the United States and that Jews control the media and politics. This is especially strange for her to say because she herself is Jewish. Uh, in 2018, Loomer showed up at the Twitter headquarters in New York City. I remember when this one happened. This was a wacky story. And she handcuffed herself to the building to protest her ban from the platform. She also supports white nationalism and has spread conspiracy theories about COVID-19 and the 2020 election. But much of that is just par for the course when it comes to Republicans these days. To give you an idea as to how nuts Loomer is, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, who, you know, again, at least at one time believed in QAnon and Jewish space lasers and thinks that Democrats are pedophiles and wearing a mask is somehow like the Holocaust. She tweeted about this idea to uh, hire Laura Loomer saying, quote, Laura Loomer is mentally unstable and a documented liar. She cannot be trusted. She spent months lying about me and attacking me just because I supported Kevin McCarthy for speaker and after I had refused to endorse her last election cycle. That's the other thing uh, Laura Loomer did run for Congress at least once. She loves the alleged FBI informant and weirdo Nick Fuentes. She tried to get hired on the Yay campaign after the infamous Mar-a-Lago dinner, but Kanye West refused to hire her, so now she's running to Trump. Never hire or do business business with a liar. Liars are toxic and poisonous to everything they touch. I'll make sure he knows. Okay, so clearly there's some personal animosity there between Marjorie Taylor Greene and Laura Loomer, but even so, when you're that crazy, when you're that far right, that conspiratorial, that bigoted, that even Marjorie Taylor Greene is denouncing you in this way and trying to get in the way of you getting hired by the Trump campaign, that is when you know that you are just completely off of the deep end. And Trump must be thinking, hey, I don't really care about that stuff because I agree with her on a lot of these issues, namely the uh, 2020 election conspiracy theories. And the most important thing to Donald Trump, after all, is loyalty. Loomer is loyal to Trump and arguably loyal than other people are on his campaign staff. And so that's enough for him. It may be enough to push him over the edge into actually deciding to hire her. However, we've also seen Donald Trump acquiesce to the wishes of his campaign staff and his administration staff over the years. And so my sense is that maybe he'll be talked out of it. But just the fact that he was meeting with her, speaking to her at Mar-a-Lago, the fact that this idea has been floated and it's getting this attention and he's talking to insiders about it. That's how we know that this is a complete unserious person, as if we didn't already know that already from the years and years that we've been witnessing Donald Trump. But that's the latest. Laura Loomer may just may be able to find herself a job in the Donald Trump campaign. 
All right, that's going to do it for today's episode of the David Pakman Show. It's been a pleasure filling in for David today. I say I enjoy doing it more and more every single time I do it. Uh, it's not the end, though, for those of you who are members. If you go to joinpacman.com and sign up for a membership, you'll be able to join me on today's bonus show when we talk about a few more stories today. To everyone else, we'll see you next time. <laughs>